energy. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe before you leave. I have such a great video for you all today. I'm gonna show you all how to fake natural hair growth because y'all know we are always trying to grow our hair on this channel. And my hair is getting longer and I'm loving it. But I'm gonna show you guys what to do as your hair grows. If you want more length, we're gonna be using clip-ins from I Define Natural. And these are paper thin clip-ins. They do come with a storage bag, which is nice and handy. And this is what they look like. These are the lowest clippings and I got them in length 20. These are deep curly and the curl pattern is so beautiful. And this is the glam full head set. So you're going to get enough to cover your entire head. Right now I'm going to show you all my natural hair out of the braid so you can see how long it is versus the clippings. And y'all know I love length. I love volume. So I want to add some clippings to give me a little extra zhuzh. Now before we get into the installation process, I'm going to wash the clippings and I usually co-wash it with regular conditioner. But this time I'm using deep conditioner because I ran out out of my co-wash so I'm just gonna apply the deep conditioner to the hair and it's just gonna make it even softer so I'm gonna do that now and then I'll come back on when we move on to the next step tell me what you mean to me are you coming home anytime soon left all of your clothes in my bathroom ran out the back door with my all right, now that we've conditioned the hair, it's time to add the styler. The styler that I'll be using is just a leave-in conditioner, and this one is by Melanin Hair Care. And I love using this product because it moisturizes the hair so nicely and adds a really nice shine. I'm also using my detangling brush in order to define the curls and also distribute the product. I'm gonna let that air dry overnight and proceed to prep my natural hair. Now this process for me is pretty simple because I don't do cornrows. Right now I'm gonna go through the process of just moisturizing my hair. I'm adding a leave-in. I'm also adding some oil to my scalp just making sure I'm giving my hair the proper TLC and then I'm going to plait up the back and then proceed to work on slicking down the front so that I can prep for my style with the clip-ins. I swear I didn't mean a thing Think I see it coming, deja vu Worst that left a scar like a tattoo Stepping on a fragile piece of art Some things we can't take we gotta live with that, yeah How many times is too many times Yeah, we've been down this road Trying to find a way back Now that we braid it and pinned up the back, it's time to work on the leave out. So I'm gonna show you guys how I slick down my edges. These are the products that I use. I'm gonna put a wig cap on the back and then proceed to add the all natural curl defining glaze first, follow it up with the Eco Styler Gel, and then I like to layer it with the Got To Be Glue Gel. Now I know that's a lot of products, it's a lot of gel, but because I have 4C hair, this is the only way that I'm able to get my hair nice and sleek, but also shiny. Now, the texture that I'm going to be using is not my hair texture, so I want to make sure it's as stretched as possible. So after applying these products and getting my hair nice and sleek in the front, I take the length of my hair and I wrap it around the back of my head. And this is what I do all the time when I want to stretch my hair in the front. I'm going to allow that to set overnight, and then I'm going to proceed to install my clip-ins. Keep in mind that if your hair is in a silk press, then you don't have to do all of this. Also, if your hair texture matches the clip-ins perfectly, you don't have to use the technique that I use. You can just take out your leave out, install your clip-ins, and just lay your hair over the clip-ins and it'll look very natural. But I have to do a little extra because I have type 4 hair. So it's the next morning and I'm gonna take off my satin scarf. And I always love how my edges turn out in the morning using the products that I share with you guys. So if you're a type 4 natural and you haven't tried those products, you should definitely try that lineup. Right now, I'm just gonna separate my hair, but I could have just pinned it back actually because the method that I used to install my clip-ins didn't actually show my leave out as much so it wasn't necessary to have it out if you'd like to pin your hair back you can absolutely do that so now I'm just going to separate these clip-ins and these are paper thin so the construction at the base of these clip-ins is going to allow for a nice seamless blend especially if your hair texture matches this particular hair texture perfectly and you can actually leave out your hair in the middle now when I install clip-ins I never leave my hair out in the middle because I feel like because of my texture it tangles too much so I just opt to plait my hair up but you can also do cornrows and then I just proceed to install the clip-ins over the braids that I've created. The goal for 
for this style was to create sort of a flip over look where my hair naturally flows over the extensions. But when installing the first weft, I decided to bring the hair forward to conceal my hair just to make sure it looked like it blended a little better. And although I installed the first weft the normal direction, I decided to turn the other wefts the opposite direction, which is a strategy that I use quite often when I'm creating sort of a flip over or a bang look. So it was perfect for this style. This technique is also really good when you're installing your clip-ins in a curved manner. As you all will notice, I'm not installing them straight across like you typically would. I'm starting near the part and then curving it around the back of my hair so that when I pull the hair back, it's gonna flow over the weft to cover that weft in the back. Keep in mind that installing the clip-ins in the opposite direction is only good when your hair is already braided or plaited up. Do not try this when your hair is left out in the middle because it will be a hot tangled mess. It's just not a good idea. Now I'm gonna proceed to continue this process. And if you've watched any of my clip-in videos, I'm sure you already know that I always start installing my clip-ins in the front first. This helps me to ensure that my placement is the way that I want it. I also do this to ensure that if I were to run out of clip-ins, you're not able to tail in the back as much as you would be able to in the front. So I'd highly recommend starting in the front first, then in the back, especially if you're not leaving any hair out. some different styles I thought it would be really cute to pin the side back and then I'm gonna try the half up half down hair style but with clip-ins your styling options are endless especially with seamless paper thin clip-ins like these <laughs> With the local shows, now it's Google Maps Ooh. Overseas, I couldn't speak the language, had to Google that yeah. All the numbers looking so low, couldn't do the math yeah. Then God came and took it, took it, took it, took it to the max Yeah, Ooh. Took some losses, I done took some losses I was about to give it up, but white beat told me trust the process Benja hit me with the blueprint, four yeah. years later now I'm popping Now the team ain't never stopping, we ain't got no other options Ooh, sign with Amplify, sign with Amplify
just gotta say it now Grateful to the Lord, gotta thank him that we made it now Send love to my haters now, tell them see you later now Blessings, 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 that's that favor now Keeping them close to me, Ooh, right where you supposed to be Yeah, I just been keeping it cool, like that ocean breeze Oh, this world will try to break me down But I just look and I laugh, laugh, the devil he mad man. Now the last style that I'm going to show you all is very similar to the style that I wear all the time, but be sure to pull the hair back over the west in the middle. I forgot to do that, but just keep that in mind and you guys will see what I mean later. Uh, think I like this. It feel good. Yeah. I'm a super saiyan baby like my name was Goku Feeling too good, real good, yeah I'm so true Remember bad days used to have, yeah I felt blue Now I'm up high in the sky like ooh ooh Mama said if I wanted I need to have a plan Get up off that corner, see the world, boy you the man And if I show you the steps I think you'll understand Slide left, move right, now you dancing man Nah, 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 nah I think you need to relax Nah, 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 nah You do that, you'll catch all the checks Yeah! turned out so great but once again be sure to use your leave out to cover the area near the crown just so the webs aren't exposed this is the area that i mean so just pull your leave out over that area and you'll be good and you can actually pin it down to help to secure it in place For a good good time come and find me we do it real big yeah baby I all right y'all that's the end of this tutorial i hope you all enjoyed this clip in install all the styles that i created i did decide to add one more weft i did have one left over so i'm just gonna place it over the area where my kinky texture is kind of peeking out just to make it more voluminous and to conceal that area but i hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial be sure to like comment and subscribe also share this video with a friend check the description box for all the links and specifications to this hair i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next tutorial bye guys you need to relax i'm speaking the facts i'm getting the checks and i ain't paying the tax nah i'm really capping i ain't on that because whatever i spend i get it right back this gonna make you